Well, here we are, folks, in a place I never thought we would be because this show seemed to just be the little engine that could for FXX. But I guess everything's got to come to an end. Season 14, the final season of Archer. It was canceled. Canceled in air quotes. I, that's very interesting because this has just been the quiet sleeper that has been chugging along. You know, it has its audience that's built. It's getting the specific numbers it's been getting. I'm sure there's been a decline just with the current state of content availability. I say content loosely. Just with the way things go, I'm sure it's it's not as good as it was in its peak. But this show always felt like the outskirts of like your Simpsons and your Family Guy and your Bob's Burgers. Like the other one that's just chugging along, getting those big seasons that people keep talking about. But it sadly has reached its end, which makes you, you know, just sit back and wonder how many more seasons do these other shows have in them? Are they going to go until one of the lead actors dies? Which is the case with Archer. We had a couple of seasons without Jessica Walters and you really feel her absence in these seasons. But it's okay, you know? Without her, there is a hole, but we have enough characters now where we can try something new. And with the case of Archer season 14, what we're trying is a lot of the same. You know, this doesn't feel like a wrap up season when you've been doing a story this long and it's been serialized for so long. You would think we would try to reach some certain climactic endings with the characters, get some resolution. That's what you'd think. But a show like Archer, it's all about like that last punchline for every episode, like each individual episode ends with like a joke and then it just you know fades to credits so expecting that show to have like a resolution everything's wrapped up all 14 seasons come to a, a perfect ending doesn't feel like it's in character for the narrative we've been seeing but this is 14 years of a show it would be nice to see something extra to give us like that proper send-off now i don't know if the creators behind this knew this was going to be the last season it doesn't feel like it. I wonder if just like the current climate had it shift where this was just like the last gasp of air that Archer had left in it. It's very weird to say. As far as the season go, a lot of the same stuff you are familiar with. A lot more jokes oriented towards we're getting old and you can't tell there's no like dynamic shift in art style where it's like, oh, Archer has got gray in his hair or the characters have more wrinkles or anything. We just say they're getting older because we are introducing younger characters into the narrative that show the age that is just aging them. I don't know. It's interesting having that concept be presented where Archer is no longer the special agent, the young hot guy who could come in and do no wrong. This season spends a lot of time talking about him reaching that point where he can't keep going anymore. One more minor fraction, he could die and him learning to accept that. And then it does the comedic thing. So well, we are hitting those notes of like, yeah, okay, this can't go on forever. That's specifically what's being said in the season. It is also just, we're going to hit the comedic jokes. We're going to have characters act in character. Lana takes over the reins of the, you know, Jessica Walter position where suddenly she is the head of the agency. We call it the agency. And she is not a field agent anymore, so we introduce a new character called Zara Khan, which is just what if we had like a younger, more abrasive version of Lana. Lana Kane, Zara Khan. Do you get it? You know, is that a little too on the nose? Maybe, but do it anyways. Like, who's going to be mad about that? She, she gives new tension to the team doesn't really add anything for the dynamic now i'm not saying we didn't need her because she's a fine addition but for a final eight episodes it would have been just as good to see our crew together without this like new addition to have her go on separate stories with the other people that being said zara is a fine character they establish her well enough in those episodes where she feels like she's a part of the team that's really cool and that's another one of those things where the introduction of that character makes you think they really want to do more of her later on, but I guess this is the end. And then we hit the beats. You know, old characters come back, new characters appear. We go across the world, we see new sites, we do a lot of the same types of missions we're familiar with, and that stuff's all interesting. The voice cast still does a great job. Everybody's still hitting their marks, doing the fun thing. 
it does feel like we're just reaching that point where it's like, uh, do we need to see more of this? There are certain moments where we're like doing a fight scene that you've seen before in earlier seasons where suddenly your mind is just like, yeah, I, I get it. You know, like we, we've been here before. We've done this thing. Is seeing it again 14 years later that exciting? And maybe it is, maybe it isn't. We've just been doing so much that it doesn't like stick in your head. You're like, yeah, there's some cool moments in here. You know, Archer just deciding like, I, I can't die because I'm perfect at everything. And having that narrative be woven for him. The penultimate episode being just like, Lana is moderate. Lana is monitoring a bunch of like separate missions and they all kind of like coalesce into this like watching people do things on separate screens. That's really funny. As far as like a final episode goes, I did enjoy it because part of it has that Seinfeld ending where it's like you have to be accountable for everything you did wrong, even though if you didn't think you did anything wrong, while still being true to what this show is, where it's just a random mission that doesn't really mean anything to the larger picture with characters you're familiar with, and then boom, a new status quo could set up what's going to come later. That's been a lot of the season. But for this being the final one, having eight episodes to tell a pretty simple story we've seen before, not really letting every character grow, it's kind of upsetting. Like, you just want more from all of these people. You want more from this world. And seeing it go, I say it's the end, but these types of shows of these type of people, look at Futurama. Ten years from now, maybe everybody's going to come back and we'll do the, sec the next season, right? That's always bound to happen with these types of programs, but Archer, it says it's different. You know, it's a little more edgy, but it's still in, it's still in that narrative, you know, something that existed before 2010. So, you know, it's doing something special and it made it this far, so that's kind of impressive, but it's the end. And as an ending, the jokes are still funny, the characters still feel real, but you can feel the wheels turning a little bit where suddenly we don't really need to see more. And maybe that's just what you need to end a show like this on a high note. It seems like it's going out high with people interested in the finale, but who knows? Maybe this is just you know, slowly withering away into nothingness and nobody really cares. I don't really know. I'm not like up to date on everything people think about Archer. All I know is that finale works for me. If I don't see anything else from this show, that's fine. I don't think this is the specific end of this show, but who knows? That's kind of cool. 14 seasons, that's impressive for any show to do, even one of this caliber. And throughout all of it, it remains pretty much on the same level. That's kind of cool. So Archer's final season, season 14, I'm going to give a 7 out of 10. Now, thank you all for watching this review. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. As always, you can check me out on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. And as always, I will catch you in the next one. Have fun. Stay safe. Good luck.